Good morning. This is me Nafisa. Today I would be sharing health benefits of pyridoxine or health benefits of vitamin B6 during pregnancy. During pregnancy, pyridoxine helps in maintaining good health as pyridoxine provides many health benefits. What will be the first health benefit? Giving pyridoxine prevents and treats pyridoxine deficiency. Two reasons for deficiency of pyridoxine is increased need or increased demand during pregnancy and lactation. Pregnant women may also have pyridoxine deficiency because of nausea and vomiting during pregnancy. Kindly note, for easy understanding, I have mentioned in pink cell color what is the opposite effect of that particular health benefit when there is a deficiency of pyridoxine. Pyridoxin breaks down or metabolizes proteins, fats and carbohydrates that are taken from the food, hence helps in digestion of the food. If a pregnant woman does not take pyridoxin, then there will be deficiency of pyridoxin. If there is a deficiency of pyridoxin, then what will happen? What is the opposite of digestion of food? Problems in digestion. Hence, pyridoxin deficiency causes problems in digestion. Vitamin B6 helps both pregnant lady and the baby to metabolize proteins and carbohydrates. Just now we have learnt that pyridoxin helps in digestion of the food. So where is vitamin B6 or pyridoxin acting? On the GI tract. If food is digested then food will move from the stomach to the small intestine and hence there will be no nausea and vomiting. Pyridoxin is used for the treatment of nausea and vomiting in pregnancy also called as NVP or morning sickness. Pyridoxin is important during pregnancy, especially in the first trimester, because if food is digested, then pregnant woman will not feel like nausea and vomiting. If there is pyridoxin deficiency, then can lead to nausea and vomiting during pregnancy. Pyridoxin has a role in neurotransmitters formation. Neurotransmitters are involved in nausea and vomiting. So, vitamin B6 helps in NVP. Studies suggest that pyridoxin is effective in treating morning sickness, even in durations of less than one week. The recommended dose of pyridoxin for NVP is 10 to 25 mg orally every 6 to 8 hours. That is 10 to 25 mg 3 or 4 times a day. Although pyridoxin is a very safe vitamin to consume, Doctors recommend the maximum dose of pyridoxin should not exceed 100 mg per day in supplements alone. During pregnancy, pyridoxin helps pregnant women maintain healthy blood glucose levels. How? Pyridoxin helps in tryptophan metabolism. During pregnancy, if there is pyridoxin deficiency, then this disturbs the tryptophan metabolism. What is the opposite of healthy blood glucose level? Diabetes. Diabetes diagnosed for the first time during pregnancy, that is gestation, is called as gestational diabetes. Soon after delivery, blood sugar comes back or resumes back to normal. This is very important health benefit in pregnancy. Pyridoxin helps in tryptophan metabolism and hence reduces chances of gestational diabetes or in easy words can also say as pyridoxin helps in tryptophan metabolism and hence helps maintain healthy blood glucose levels. Pyridoxin deficiency in pregnancy will disturb tryptophan metabolism which causes gestational diabetes. In order to understand the next health benefit, let's start from the basics. When we eat food, the proteins in the food is digested or broken down in our body to form amino acids. One of the amino acid is homocysteine. Remember, homocysteine is not found in foods, but homocysteine is formed in our body. Pyridoxin plays an important role in the conversion of homocysteine to cysteine. Therefore, homocysteine is in low levels in the blood. Homocysteine in low levels is not harmful. If there is a deficiency of pyridoxin, then homocysteine is not converted to cysteine. Hence, homocysteine increases in blood. Hence, results in high levels of homocysteine in the blood. 
high levels of homocysteine in blood is dangerous this is easy to understand pyridoxine breaks down homocysteine to cysteine hence if there is a deficiency of pyridoxine it will cause increase in homocysteine levels in the blood high levels of homocysteine in blood high levels in hindi is called as asadharan ya atyadhik level another word in english is hyper high levels of what high levels of homocysteine where is high levels of homocysteine present in the body high levels of homocysteine is there in the blood blood in medicine is also called as emia so when there is high levels of homocysteine in the blood this condition is called as hyperhomocysteinemia pronounce it as high per homo cis tin e mia high per homocystin emia hyper homocystinemia if a pregnant woman has increased homocystine levels in the blood for a very long time then this may increase the risk for miscarriage repeated miscarriage preeclampsia preterm delivery or preterm labor preterm birth low birth weight intrauterine fetal death so can i call all of these as pregnancy complications these pregnancy complications may lead to pregnancy loss pyridoxin supplementation is effective and safe in reducing homocysteine levels in the blood therefore reduces risk of pregnancy complications and hence reduces pregnancy loss pyridoxin aids in pregnancy helps prevent low birth weight how pyridoxin will help in the conversion of homocysteine to cysteine so less homocysteine therefore decreases the risk of hyperhomocysteinemia hence reduces chances of pregnancy complications one of the pregnancy complication is low birth weight hence pyridoxin reduces chances of low birth weight low birth weight is birth weight less than 2.5 grams pyridoxin helps in heme synthesis heme is made up of iron and globinous protein so together heme plus globin forms hemoglobin hemoglobin helps in the formation of rbcs hence pyridoxin is necessary for rbc formation rbcs formation is required both for the mother and the fetus because rbcs are formed so blood formation takes place if there is pyridoxin deficiency then heme formed is less if heme formed is less then hemoglobin formed is less therefore rbc's formation is less if there is less blood this condition is called as anemia we have learnt in school that rbc's carries oxygen to all the cells of the body if there is pyridoxin deficiency then less oxygen to the cells of the body hence symptoms like breathlessness and fatigue are experienced nervous system is made up of nervous tissue nervous tissue is made up of nervous cells or nerve cells each nerve cell is called as neuron neuron is exactly like the palm of our hand healthy nerve cell or healthy neuron is covered with the help of myelin sheath hence myelin sheath protects the nerves nerves is also called as neuro so can i say as neuro protection who makes myelin sheath pyridoxin can i say pyridoxin helps in neuro protection because of pyridoxin deficiency myelin sheath is not formed what is the opposite of neuro protection break up the word nerves are protected neuro protection means nerves are protected so what is the opposite nerves are protected is neuro protection so opposite of neuro protection is nerve damage nerves is also called as neuro and damage is called as pathi so nerve damage is called as neuropathy because of myelin sheath there is proper transmission of signals within the brain hence helps in healthy functioning of the nervous system or improves overall brain health pyridoxin deficiency results in deterioration of the brain function vitamin b6 helps in proper functioning of the nervous system because pyridoxin helps in neurotransmitter synthesis 
and also in myelin synthesis shown here a healthy nerve cell or a healthy neuron in which myelin sheath is formed therefore neuroprotection or nerves are protected also i have shown a damaged nerve cell or a damaged neuron in which myelin sheath is not formed therefore nerves are damaged that is neuropathy both vitamin b6 and vitamin b12 offers neuroprotection both vitamin b6 and vitamin b12 helps in myelin synthesis therefore decreases painful nerve sensations therefore decreases burning sensation numbness loss of sensation and muscle cramps pyridoxine is making neurotransmitters like gaba dopamine and serotonin neurotransmitters is essential for the development of baby's brain and keeping the nervous system healthy hence pyridoxine in pregnancy is essential for the development of the baby's brain and nervous system throughout each week of pregnancy and thus plays a critical role in the development of the baby if there is deficiency of pyridoxine then neurotransmitters like gaba is not formed resulting in developmental delays and seizures pyridoxine helps in the production as well as the breakdown of important neurotransmitters like serotonin norepinephrine histamine dopamine and gaba neurotransmitters are those communications that travel through the nervous system they are hormone like they are not hormones because hormones travel through the blood and neurotransmitters travel via the nervous system not getting enough vitamin b6 during pregnancy that is pyridoxine deficiency may affect the formation of neurotransmitters pyridoxine or vitamin b6 helps in maintaining healthy levels of hormones in the body that is hormonal balance pyridoxine deficiency during pregnancy leads to imbalance in the level of these hormones that is hormonal imbalance pyridoxine helps in the production and breakdown of several neurotransmitters in the brain which enhances mood and is helpful against depression and gives relief from anxiety not getting enough pyridoxine during pregnancy causes hormonal imbalance which can lead to unstable moods or mood swings depression and anxiety pregnancy and birth of a baby can cause a range of emotions like depression anxiety depression is feeling sad and empty anxiety is feeling nervous scared worried depression and anxiety can happen during pregnancy or during the first year after the birth of a baby for many women these feelings go away on their own but for some women these emotions are more serious and may stay for some time if depression happens during pregnancy then called as perinatal depression if depression is experienced during the first year after the birth of a baby then called as postpartum depression anxiety during and after pregnancy is as common as depression anxiety during pregnancy is referred to as perinatal anxiety or perinatal mood and anxiety disorders pyridoxine plays a crucial role in cognitive development that is pyridoxine has an important role in learning and may also help in the formation of memories pyridoxine deficiency results in poor learning ability and poor memories pyridoxine aids in the production of hormones like serotonin and melatonin serotonin and melatonin help in sound restful sleep pyridoxine deficiency leads to insomnia pyridoxine increases immunity hence it's important for pregnant women to take pyridoxine rich diet so that her immunity is increased pratirodhak kshamta is increased and hence she will be able to withstand a number of infections that is no infections pyridoxine deficiency results in weak immunity therefore a pregnant women may be prone to infections there is an inverse relationship between pyridoxine and inflammatory mediators pyridoxine taken through food or supplements that is when pyridoxine is present in human body then no inflammatory mediators 
therefore no inflammation no tissue damage and hence no pregnancy complications when there is pyridoxin deficiency then may result in production of inflammatory mediators therefore causes inflammation hence tissue damage and therefore pregnancy complications pyridoxin breaks down or metabolizes proteins from the food to form glucose we all know glucose gives instant energy in other words pyridoxin increases the energy levels by breaking down proteins from the food pyridoxin deficiency causes what opposite of energy is fatigue pyridoxin breaks down or metabolizes carbohydrates from the food to form glucose glucose gives instant energy pyridoxin increases energy levels by breaking down carbohydrates from the food when a pregnant woman takes a diet rich in pyridoxin or takes pyridoxin nutritional supplement she will feel more energetic throughout the day that is pyridoxin increases energy levels and pyridoxin deficiency causes what what is the opposite of energy fatigue pyridoxin or vitamin b6 helps build protein structures like nails hair enzymes and growth hormones one of the most significant benefits of vitamin b6 is helps in maintaining good condition of the skin in pregnancy vitamin b6 or pyridoxin helps prevent early childhood skin problems such as eczema pyridoxin helps treat dandruff hair loss Vitamin B6 deficiency or pyridoxin deficiency causes skin problems and hair problems. Pyridoxin is also used for dizziness, motion sickness, migraine headaches, allergies. Pyridoxin deficiency causes dizziness, motion sickness, migraine headaches, allergies. We have learnt before health benefit of pyridoxin in morning sickness. So easy to remember. pyridoxin is also used for motion sickness meaning of morning sickness is pregnant women feels like nausea and vomiting especially in the first trimester of pregnancy morning sickness is also called as nvp or nausea and vomiting in pregnancy what is the meaning of motion sickness whenever a vehicle is in motion a person feels like nausea and vomiting another name is travel sickness summarizing eight health benefits of pyridoxin during pregnancy and if there is a deficiency of pyridoxin then it may result into what summarizing remaining 10 health benefits of pyridoxin during pregnancy and if there is a deficiency of pyridoxin then it may result into what thank you so much